On today's episode of Watch Jericho, more fire, fire truck content. I've been waiting to put this together for a long time. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Jericho and today we are here with my 1977 Mac CF600 fire engine. And first of all, I love this thing. It's so crazy. I bought it for $3,000 from the city of Arcadia, Kansas when they upgraded to a much nicer, much newer fire truck. And if you guys remember on the old video, if you head over there, make sure you like that video. If it hits 100,000 likes, we're gonna give them a thousand more dollars. So look forward to that in a future video, but today we're gonna get this thing out and head over to my local fire department that has a bunch of brand new trucks. And we're gonna compare this old beast to the insanity that is the, uh, you know, the, the current generation. What people are out there actively using on fires. I can't wait to check out those new trucks. So let's get to it. People are always asking if the auto eject works. It does not. It's got a secondary trickle charger inside that's not the one with the auto eject compatibility. So unfortunately I have to unplug it every time. Let's get this thing started up. It does not have the external air on it right now, so we're gonna have to let it idle for the uh, air for the air brakes. All right, she's warmed up. We got plenty of air pressure. It's time to head over to the fire department. The Golden Mac Dog. Disclaimer, a lot had to happen to make this video. So a uh, huge thank you to everybody in the chain of command that allowed me to shoot that. And uh, just to cover everybody's basis here to make sure we're, we're all in the clear. Uh, this video does not constitute legal advice. This video does not represent the opinions of the Derby Fire Department. It's not an official video by the Derby Fire Department and all stunts were performed by trained professionals. Continue at your own risk. Before we head over to take a look at the newest fire truck in Derby, we have a treat for you guys. Check this out. This is a 1916 Seagrave with a V12. Look at that insane engine sitting in there. This thing is absolutely wild. Really, really clean old controls. You got like a, an actual drum brake on the chain drive here. This thing is sweet. It was restored in uh, what year? You said about five years ago, six years ago? Yeah, yeah. six to ten. Six, gotcha, gotcha. Really, really cool. It's like a gravity fed gas tank up there. This thing rocks. Check out these tires. So did they just move them in with this or water too? Did they have like a slide in water tank or something like that? No, it was a hose. Thing. Just hose? Okay. Just hose. okay. Gotcha. Uh oh, that makes sense with hose number one up there. <laughs> well, there you guys go, a 1916 Seager. We've got the water temp hanging out up here. This thing has a mechanical siren, that's it right there. And it actually, you step on the pedal, it has that little leather, like kind of running wheel there that rides on the flywheel and spins up this siren. Oh yeah, you can see all the linkage right there. And that goes up to the pedal, that black rod going up. When you step on it, the, the engine itself turns the siren. That is so cool. Looks like we might be losing the alternator on this thing. It drove over here wonderfully, and now the battery's looking a little bit rough. It always comes up with no problem, and then today, it's just not there. He's back. I just needed to keep it above idle for a while. And now we are at the next fire station, and this thing seems like it's running better already. Uh, let's go up here, and they've got the newest fire truck in the city, and compare it to the old beast here. So we are here with a 2020 Pierce, and the firefighters here are gonna show us around the truck and give us like a quick tour of all the new technology on just the insanity that this is compared to my versus uh, the old school truck here. This thing is beautiful, guys. What's it like having a brand new truck? Like? It's pretty awesome. Um, we're pretty fortunate to have one of the newest trucks in the fleet for a derby. Yeah. Um, 
we replaced our last truck, which was a 2001. Okay. So we definitely like to get a lot of life out of them. Yeah, 20 years, no doubt. Absolutely, yeah. yep. But as you can imagine, things change, so we yeah. have to buy trucks that work with our new environment that we're working in today. So. Sure, sure. Well, there's no laptops in my truck, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's our MDT. Uh -huh. We get a lot of call information um, updated through dispatch. Okay. They send us a lot of the information through there. Um, so it's just kind of like an extra tool that we have to sure. get briefed before we go to a call. Gotcha. So they go pretty cool in there. It's like officer has laptop. He has a tick for himself. We have um, ear pieces and microphones yeah. to talk to each other. Even though it's not that loud, it's about this uh, level of a truck, like a pickup truck. Yeah, it's hard to talk in mine without the fire comm yeah. on. It's, it's when <laughs> it's super quiet. Sometimes we forget we don't have them on. Gotcha. Um, he can control all the lights and, and sirens from his side over here, as well as he's got two spotlights he can control. Ah. Kind of like cop lights. Oh, and these are all like remote instead of the old, like yeah. you just run the handle? Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so that's intercom and then spotlights after that. And, uh, that and then all right there controls the flashers. This gotcha. And then your radio in the center? Radio in the center. Cool. And then uh, on the other side of that is a siren box. Okay. And then I have complete control of all the lights and the uh, scene lighting as well. And you've got the cue and the brake for the cue? Yes, sir. Is that doubled up on the other side too? Or uh, yep, I have one on my side too. Oh, awesome, awesome. Controlled by the steering wheel. Um, when we hit a switch on the other side, we, like we're honking the horn, that's how we get the cue to go. Gotcha, gotcha. Mine does not do that. You have to use the floor switch and that's, yeah. that's See, it. We had that in our other one and I kind of yeah. liked it. Uh, Just because it frees up your hands? Yeah. Gotcha. These are cool. We got compartments over here, like we can get two from the outside. We can get help with stuff. Wow. Quickly. As opposed to getting compartments. Right. Right. Like as soon as you get out, you have access yeah. without going on a walk. And he can. He actually sits right here, so okay. he can grab it right as he walks out the door. Gotcha. Um, we got a lot of compartment space and cabin space for storage. Yeah, and you guys have air conditioning too, right? Yes. That's that's pretty fancy. That's a big rig up. We didn't have before, so that's pretty awesome. Wait, your 01 didn't have? It didn't work. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, man, that's crazy. <laughs> that it took blew out air that was about hotter than pretty much felt like it came off the end of the block. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that is nuts. We have these uh, tool compartments right behind the driver, or right behind the back end guy. Oh, awesome. in the air fridge and toilet. Sweet. So pretty much all of our first two tools are right here easy you access go anywhere gotcha and is this is like oh five inch hose i was yep. like that looks like yep. five or six that's insane it's one of our favorite things it's about 30 feet okay it's already pre-connected we just take that side of the hose out and uh -huh. run it to the hydrant and if we're close enough we can hook up by ourselves and don't have to do anything it makes it very quick absolutely we have our wrench over here on that side to help us out ah nice yeah that is that's really cool Quick turning LDH valves. I was like, all these valves look a lot easier to use than yep, all the old school ones. Just 90s. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. That's how everything should be 90s. That's for sure. They're pretty great. Yep. Oh, this is insane. So that's the control panel for everything. Yeah. Got our uh, electric panel. What's uh, what's little pump? That is our. Air if we're not on station power, uh -huh. it's our air compressor to keep air. In. In the system. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't. I actually have to keep my air compressor hooked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our other truck we did too had some new leaks. Yes, um, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And then, like I said, front back end guy comes, grabs a set of irons and a can, and gotcha. one compartment door. That's it. Yeah. Man, that is awesome. It's so clean. <laughs> Unbelievable. We got extra bottle storage here. Gotcha. For kind of oh, thing. SCBA. Uh, oil dry. Nice, nice. And a hopper. We can dish it out right here. We can take like a little pail ah. to it. This is what every car guy needs, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Back up in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Got a wow. set of vacuum splints and the whole drill set in the wall right there. Okay. These uh, like LED light bars in the cabinets are so nice. Yes, we didn't have those before. They're a life changer. Absolutely. Sure. Uniform lighting. I love it. Ah, 
Uh, this is this is all the fancy stuff right here. These things run on DeWalt batteries? Yeah, I had no idea. Batteries. Wow. Jaws of Life with Which a flex bolt. They can run on those as well. Okay. The 20s um, are... And they have a... The teeth are different, so... Like, these won't accept 20 volts. They only accept these. But gotcha. those will accept both. Wow. This so. is crazy. And these are extension arms for them that, like... Oh, no, those are, are struts. Those oh, are okay. completely separate, but those gotcha. are part of this system vehicle rescue and stuff gotcha wow that is so cool one battery one battery yeah here's the comparison to my fire truck that probably cost more than two of my fire trucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it's worth it absolutely worth it. sure yeah, I'm, I'm sure just being cordless and being able to run to the rescue. Yeah, it's insane. Wow. So these are Paratex struts. Okay. Um, these ones are the actual struts, and these are the extensions for it. Okay. We have bases and tips and everything in there. For like lifting stuff, is that what? These ones aren't forward? the lifting ones. These ones are just the catch progress. Oh. Okay. So like a vehicle on its side. Uh huh. You can A-frame it pretty much, keep it from gotcha. going either way. Gotcha. And then that way it doesn't tip over on you yeah, while you're... Exactly. Yeah, I gotcha. They okay. have gold pair of techs, and those are... You can actually use the lift with. Okay. I want... It looked like it had, like, hydraulic fittings or something, so you could run it. That's why I was wondering yeah. if it was... No, nope. these are just releases. Gotcha. So, um, That's you, really You cool. extend them out, and then you lock it with your thread cool. here. Collar. So. Okay, cool, cool. They're wow. Very, very helpful when you need them. Well, that's... That's one expensive cabinet. <laughs> Very expensive. <laughs> Ladders. Yeah. Gotcha. That's and cool. Best features we like on this is the low hose bed. Oh yeah. You don't have to climb up to grab cross yeah. just like it's right on your shoulder, so. Wow. That is really cool for sure. That's our favorite part. Oh, I like yeah. this too. Does this auto eject? Yes sir. Oh. Yep, auto ejects. Uh, we used to have air fitting on it and uh, it's out of service right now. But. Ah, well, at least you have onboard air too. Yes, so, yeah. And we have two pre connects and we have two statics and an LDH there. Nice. What's what's LDH? Like a large diameter hose. Okay, okay. So it's okay. five inches. That's what we supply the hydrants with. I see. I see. And then we got a generator. Ah, here. yeah, with a rewind. Wow. That is a cord. <laughs> That's insane. And we have a. Uh, um, a suction attachment for our suction hose. Okay. Uh, siphon attachment. If you're throwing it in a pond or something. Yep. Or so around here we'll do mutual aid with uh, county. Uh huh. And if we're somewhere where we don't have a hydrant, yeah. we'll dump a portable water tank. Okay. And then we'll uh, draft out of it to nice. get our water supply. Nice. What are what are these? Spanner wrenches. Oh, for uh, gotcha. for LDH and for gotcha. double sided. That makes perfect sense. That's really cool. And then, of course, mine doesn't work, but I they put like a different little 12 volt battery <laughs> tender on, but I wish I had that work. Yeah, that one that didn't work for a long time, and now it does. It's, it's actually pretty helpful. Yeah, super nice. You got your backup camera. I saw that. Does it stay on all the time? Can you just see you whatever? Can, you can select it. Okay. But it doesn't stay on unless you put it in reverse. Gotcha. Gotcha. Another expensive camera. Yeah, a lot of rescue right here. That's for sure. That is a heck of a saw, too. When we got this truck, every, all the equipment was in the budget to purchase with it. So gotcha. It's all new with it. That is awesome. Yeah, that's like the farm boss, isn't it? It's, it's one of their big, big saws. Uh, it's pro I, I can't imagine what a farm boss is, but I think it's a little bit more than that. It's ah. got a lot of... All the toys. To gotcha. <laughs> it's uh, kind of sold to us. Okay. Fire purposes. Fire rescue. Nice, nice. As well as the case well there. Gotcha. And a bunch of portable like LED lights. Yep. Like. LED lights off a generator. Nice. Um, the main monitor right there. Yeah. Uh, triangles. Triangles. Nice. It's got a def on this, which ah is yeah it is. Door. Yeah. More bottles. Yep. Huh. Is it the def's like behind the flap? Yep. Ah, I gotcha. You know, That's cool. Rig pack here. Yep. You got utility rope, search rope. We got uh, portable air bags. Is that uh, or water, water bags for like wildland deployments? Okay. Carry about four and a half gallons of water. Nice. We can pump it out from there. Yeah, that's really cool. 
These, this is a really good use of space. Because mine has the old school, like the tank wall, you know? Oh, yeah. That is way better for sure. <laughs> we, we've come a long way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Engineer's compartment with the built in toolbox. Gotcha. Awesome. Yes, that is absolutely awesome. It's so clean. Yeah, it keeps everything really neat. And what are these releases for? Um, those are if we want to have, you know, extra fittings or anything like that, like this. Okay. Hang upside down right there. Uh, I gotcha. Put the release on it. Nice. Well, that's really cool. And then, wow. It's much different <laughs> from our other ones. It's a side mount pump panel. What an insane control panel. Ah, yeah. It goes from front to back. Okay, with all the valves, so yep. you know exactly. So it'd be like front, yep. and then um, you, me, you, me, you, me. Ah, so I see. Then one, two is in the back, and then that one we don't use. Gotcha. Wow, that is super nice. And then tank level. They didn't give you the fancy LED tank level thing? That oh, there it is. Right there. Gotcha. <laughs> That thing rocks too. It is pretty sweet. When you're away from your truck, you can just look over and here and you can look and see what level you're at. Gotcha. It's very handy. Is it the four color one too? Yep. Okay, cool, cool. And it's always only green all the time. Always, so. always full? Yep. <laughs> I love it. And then uh, you got a uh, deck gun up there so we can raise it up. Oh, really? Like it's hydraulic or something? Uh, not from here, but we can get up there and raise oh, it up. Gotcha. Control it. Wow. That's really cool too. And then that's your tank fill, I guess? Is yeah, that we, that's an option. Yeah. Uh, it's really slow, so we just use hydrants if we Okay. Do it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Hydrants give us a whole lot more flow. flow. Yeah. Absolutely. It takes forever. Yeah, that's only like inch and a half to it. Like a top off, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. He's got a new compartment here and then a driver. So we have a volunteer program here. Yeah. If we get a fourth guy, he'll ride here. Ah. So a lot of times we put our gear here. Nice. Man, that's a uh, pretty sweet setup. Absolutely. What a truck. And then, of course, the coolest thing here. You got all the toys. So this is your PTO drive to the pump, is that? Is yep, it? that's our uh, pump changeover switch. Okay, okay. Wow. LCD it's with all the... Uh, engine retarders on it. It does? Yeah. That is really cool. And it's got, a, it looks like, yeah, the Allison 2000 in it or something. What a crazy cockpit. This thing rocks. Oh yeah, the Wayland siren on this. Sweet. Power windows too? Yeah. This is insane. It's pretty easy. <laughs> There's all the diag, everything like that. That's, yeah, that's so nuts. We can put it manually, put it in uh, regen mode. Oh, for, for the, the DEO? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow, that's cool. I guess that makes sense if you're not out on the highway much, you kind of have to regen every once in a while. They tell us it'll do it on like pumping operations, but we haven't been able to do it, get it to do that. So we're the time we're in house. And Might as well just give yeah. it a regen and let yeah. it sit out here. Gotcha. It'll let us know what to attack for. I just saw that, that's insane. Yeah. Kind of glide over everything. We got the queue, can't forget about that. <laughs> got a, and the nice Wayland sirens on there too. That's really cool. 200 watt sirens up front, LED headlights. Man, that is wild. We want to go yeah. Yeah. There <laughs> yes, go. there we go, there we go. That is cool. Oh, and I like a light bar in the center too. Huh? Yep, that's our, uh, our front cowl headlock or uh, spotlight. Okay. And it's far brighter than the brights and the regular headlights combined. Gotcha. On the country road, that wow. Is crazy, bro. That thing rocks. Man. Are these the directional ones that have like the arrow in them? Yep. Oh, man, I love those things. Oh, and the arrow. <laughs> nice. So is that actually mechanical or does it? Yeah, it's got a string in here. Okay. It's uh, manual as can be. Sweet. We wanted to keep a little bit of tradition with this truck, so we got the uh, bell. We want to replace the bell as well. The bell is so, so good. Well, there you guys have a truck that I'm happy uh, you're not driving today. <laughs> 
It's a uh, it's a handful compared to all the new stuff. I'd love to drive it though. You could drive it. For, <laughs> hop in, man. It's all yours. Like, I definitely would not mind. But she goes. She's still like. Uh, it honestly, it moves for how big the thing is. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty impressed. It moves right up to about you know 55 when you're when and you're tapped it's out. Like, oh, okay, calm down. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that was the old uh, Motorola handset. It'll open. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, they cut it out though. Who knows how long ago? But. Oh, okay. wow. Look at that thing, dude. It's a throwback. Yeah, that is a real throwback. Yeah, it's the old phone style. Yep. <laughs> and I love that you could pick the frequency from like the presets yeah. on the radio. Yeah. Like, Actually, what we, at least what I kind of learned on when I was going through school is trucks like this. They gotcha. Were all the retired trucks that the school could afford. So that's ah. what we learned on. These things. Uh, I mean, if you have gloves on, you're good, you know, but otherwise they'll end up, yeah. <laughs> they'll take a bite out of your fingers real quick. And they outfitted it with some cool stuff like a diesel fuel heater for cold weather and oh, yeah. yeah, all the toys. It's, it honestly is like a good working truck. Well, thanks guys. Absolutely. Thanks for keeping the town safe. Thanks for showing it to us. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's awesome. Like I said, if you ever need it, <laughs> it's just sitting in the warehouse. It, mind, it, sure. it runs. <laughs> Well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, where you can get cool shirts, not like this. And please, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I'll talk to you next time. What a comparison. Look at that. Man, this is a little baby. And we are back, and that was absolutely one of the craziest things I've ever gotten to do, get up close and personal with a brand new truck that was wild. But we did sit around talking for a long time about how amazing these look, amazing the drivetrains were, and how long they've actually lasted. This thing's almost 50 years old. Anyway, huge thank you to our local fire department for uh, letting me check out the truck and coming to check out this thing.